Barnett take on Sully Hull Moors in the FA Trophy this weekend. I'm joined by Mel. Mel, before we get into Sully Hull, uh, it was quite a tough test against Gateshead last time out. But how important is it that the, the fitness and the resilience of this squad that even even when we're not fully at our best, that we can get results like at Plymouth in last minute and Boreham Wood in the last minute and pretty much last minute at Gateshead? How important is it for that to, to know that we've got that fitness and resilience in the squad? I think scoring goals at any time is important. Um, and sometimes you have to be patient. Sometimes as a team you have to be patient. Sometimes the opposition do something against you that causes you problems. You've got to work it out and work your way through it to, to get yourself on top so you, you can have the chances. Um, the team works incredibly hard. They know the game plan. They know what Dean wants them to do. Um, and they follow it. And we are a team that goes from the first minute to the 93rd, 94th, 95th and so on, whatever it finishes at. And you've always got a chance. When you've got good players and you've got a plan, you've always got a chance. And um, yeah, we, we haven't been at our best, but credit to the opposition we've played. You know, Bournemouth at their place causes all sorts of problems. Um, we played the other day, and again, we, all sorts of problems Gates had caused us. But we overcame them, and, and in the end, I think in both games, we could have come away with wins, but we got draws, and, and we were comfortable with that. And we do take on uh, Sully Hull in the FA Trophy this weekend, and they're a team in the league around around the playoffs. What sort of challenge are you expecting from them tomorrow? Oh, a tough challenge. I mean, they're a great team. They've got some very, very good players. Um, we played them already this season, got a 1-1 draw, missed a penalty, unfortunately. Um, but as much as we missed a penalty, they missed chances as well. It'll be a good game. It'll be competitive. It's a nice surface. It's a nice little stadium. Um, They'll be well prepared, they'll be well organised because that, that's the sort of team they are and it'll be a very, very tough challenge but one we're absolutely looking forward to. Sully Hull are not in the best of form of late but does that make the challenge harder for us because they'll be wanting to get back into their usual form? I think that when, when people look at form and teams aren't doing well at this or aren't doing well and not, not going great, I have a slightly different take on it. I, I think as a team they'll be they'll be up for it, they'll, they'll want to win, as they will every game they start. I think when teams are struggling, it's not normally the start of games and that, that causes them grief. It's towards the end of the game. If you haven't won for a while and you get a goal up, you're hanging on, you go deeper and deeper. Um, if you concede a goal, your heads can go down. So I think, I think it could have an effect, who knows? But ultimately, they'll be well prepared, well organised, and like I said earlier, they're, you know, they'll be a tough, tough challenge for us. Someone who is having a good season for us this year is Nicky Kabamba. Three and three for him and 13 for the season. How much is it for a coach to, to rely on someone who can score goals in this level? And how much confidence to give you? Well, I think Nicky's done great. Um, I think they've all done well. It, it's funny how people see, see players. I know that um, the general thing is how many goals does a striker score? I'm a little bit different to that. You know, How many goals does a team score? And what effect does a striker have on the team? Um, I think Nicky's done great goal scoring. But actually, one of Nicky's biggest strengths is his defending set pieces for us and also his defending from the front where he stops balls forward, he blocks balls coming forward, he works his socks off to keep the ball one way so we know where we go, where they're going to, the opposition are going to play. So, Nicky, it's great to have a striker who scores goals, but there's a lot more, to us, in my opinion, to a striker's game I, and I don't just judge him on that. So, I would say he's done great goal scoring, but also as a def our first defender, he's, he's done a great job. He has been great this season. Uh, we've had a bit of illness in the squad last couple of the weeks. How is the team news looking ahead of tomorrow? Uh, we've got basically a sort of fully fit squad. There's one or two just coming back who um, probably won't quite be ready to make it, but generally we're, we're in good shape. So um, we'll take a full squad there. There'll be two or three boys left here who'll do a little bit of extra work. But yeah, we're in, we're in good shape. And finally, it's just been announced there's some personal news for yourself that you're going to Hampton and Richmond. Uh, could you tell us a bit about your new role? Yes, I'm going there as um, head of football operations and first team manager. And yeah, it, it's it's happening. I'd be very very sorry to leave Barnet. Um, the players here, are a different class and great. The management have been great to me. I, I came in originally just to help out with the goalkeepers, which I did because I knew Laurie very well. I've signed him twice, um, and ended up doing a little bit more than just just the goalkeepers. But I, I miss I miss the place and I miss the staff and I certainly miss the players. Um, and I'm, I'm desperate for them to go on and uh, get promoted. It'd be fantastic. Mel, thank you for your time and all the best at Hampton. Thank you very much. Thank you.